Welcome everyone and thank you all for joining us for a very special Healer Within Life practice sampler today. These practice sessions have been a fantastic way for us all to stay connected and hopefully keep you practicing together, keeping you up and hopefully ultimately keeping you healthy. We're delighted to welcome our practice leader today, Dr. Roger Yonka. As many of you know, Dr. Yonka is the co-founder of the Healer Within Foundation. He's the developer of the Tai Chi Easy Method and esteemed author of both uh, The Healer Within and The Healing Promise of Chi. It is always a special treat when Roger uh, leads us in practice. So without further ado, Roger, I'd like to turn things over to you. Uh, as I said, folks are excited to practice along with you today. So want to expand our time as much as we can and welcome and thank you. Uh, we so appreciate you being here. Thank you, Christy. Thank you very much. And as Christy was mentioning, I'm one of the founders of the Healer Within Foundation, and I'm so proud of what that organization has been doing and the, and the contributions that the Healer Within Foundation is making to our society and particularly with this just amazing rolling uh, Qigong practices, uh, you know, pretty much weekly. Um, wow, that is incredible. Now today, uh, I'm going to to turn our attention to the idea of therapeutic um, Qigong and Tai Chi for therapeutic outcomes. So what does that mean? Well, in Qigong, we call it medical Qigong. You could, maybe you could call it um, medical Tai Chi. Uh, what it, so what is the definition of medical Qigong or medical Tai Chi? Well, it's when Tai Chi or Qigong are utilized to solve a medical problem. So in other words, typically we just say, well, I'm doing Tai Chi or I'm doing Qigong. Um, but today I'm going to give you a three-part approach to Qigong and Tai Chi that has a uh, focus on refining the practice <clears throat> so that it has a specific target for you. So be thinking about your health challenge or the challenge, uh, the health challenge of anybody that you know, uh, and you can take this information in. It's going to be very accessible and um, share it with, you know, use it yourself or share it with anyone that you wish. And it goes like this. The, there are three parts to medical Qigong. The first part is to do any kind of Qigong practice or any kind of Tai Chi practice. So you're probably familiar with doing some kind of Qigong or Tai Chi. Um, then the second part is where you use massage of the ears, hands, and feet. Um, in the interest of time, our uh, Qigong practice will be a little bit on the brief side, and our um, uh, ear and we'll do ear and hand massage. We won't try to fit all uh, ear, hands, and feet in, but you're probably familiar with the fact that the design of the hand is very similar to the design of the feet. And so you can extrapolate anything that we say about hand massage to foot massage. And then there's a third portion to medical Qigong, which is to direct the Qi to the part of the body that needs healing the most. Now, there are some people who have uh, health challenges that are not in a part of the body, but they're more like in the whole body. You could think like insomnia, like where is insomnia? Or you could think about um, uh, leukemia, you know, where is leukemia? Because the blood is everywhere um, and uh, leukemia is a cancer of the blood, then what do we do to treat or don't use the word treat, by the way, say address, uh, treatment would happen with a licensed health uh, medical professional. And um, uh, I am, but um, you're not, or many of you are not. And so uh, be thinking about uh, addressing a health 
challenge, be thinking about your health challenge or the health challenge of someone that you, that you know. So we're going to start, and, and I'm going to stay sitting because often people who are challenged in their health are um, experiencing compromise. And um, by the way, you don't, we're, we're not talking about just very difficult uh, health challenges. We're talking about every kind of health challenge. And even a person who's pretty well might have, shall we say, persistent headaches or as we mentioned, insomnia or pain. And uh, so you don't have to have a terribly complex disease to utilize the medical Qigong or medical Tai Chi approach. Uh, what you, it's for anybody who has a health concern. Now, one more thing is to understand that the definition of medicine in uh, in ancient cultures, including the Chinese culture and all the shamanic cultures, medicine doesn't mean something that you get in a drugstore. Medicine means something that you have. So when we say, um, one of my great friends in the Native American community is was named Black Raven. So people would say Black Raven has big medicine. So what did that mean? Black Raven is the owner of a, of a large pharmaceutical manufacturing plant? No. What it means is that Black Raven has power. And that power comes from nature. And the human being is an expression of nature. And so when we say medical Qigong, we're not saying a medicine that you need to get from a pharmacy to be able to treat a disease, what we're saying is making a medicine within our own body and delivering it with purpose and intent to the part of ourself that needs healing. Wow, how cool is that? And uh, so we're going to do a couple of a couple of body oriented practices. By the way, you're probably familiar with the four baskets of practice or the four dimensions of practice, body practice, mind practice through meditation, breath practice, and massage practice. So we're going to do a little bit of body practice, a little bit of breath practice, a little bit of um, massage practice, and, uh, and then um, and meditation. We're going to just weave the meditation through the whole thing. So let's get started. Uh, adjust yourself and then we'll do a preliminary adjustment. And then first, let's acknowledge earth and sky. So in the Chinese medicine paradigm, a person is made up of elements of earth, call that the body, and elements of sky, which are called the mind and spirit. Uh, the spirit is especially like the sky because it's boundless. And what about the local sky? Clouds come, rain falls. There's all kinds of, the, the sky has moods. A, a mental emotional self has moods. So align yourself between earth and sky means think about how to integrate the spirit, the mind, and the body. That's what this practice is for. And then we'll do the three treasures. Three treasures is, um, and by the way, let me just ring this gong one time to really get us to sort of segue between what we were doing and what we are doing. I'll just ring it once. But turn your attention inward. Acknowledge earth and sky. Align yourself between heaven and earth. It's really powerful to feel like we've entered a special territory. 
a territory where even though we may be habituated to complexity and distracted by the th occurrences of our lives and the world, we want to create a special sanctuary in which to do this practice. And ringing a gong like that is a great way to be able to get through the portal from where we were to where we are now. All right, three treasures, posture, breath, and mind. Posture, adjust, lengthen, lift your head, drop your shoulders, soften your fingers. Second treasure, the breath, deepen the breath. Long, slow, and deep. Long, slow, deep. I love that one because it, the first letter of each of those is LSD. <laughs> so let's go on an LSD trip by having long, slow, deep inhalations and long, slow, deep exhalations. Now the mind. Put your past in one hand, either one. Put your future in the other, either one. And bring your hands together slowly. But notice as I bring my hand upward like this, if the past is in my hand, now it's just pouring out, pouring out. So the idea is that I want to pour out my concerns and considerations of the past and the future. And then you could say something like this to yourself. Now, on purpose, with intent, I commit to myself to sustain the present moment focus for the duration of this practice. And you could even add by saying, I'm committed to sustaining the present moment for the duration of this practice and even into my life. So now we're making a commitment to not only be present moment focused in the practice, but we're actually investigating the possibility of diffusing mindfulness and present moment focus into our life, into our relationships, into our work. So posture, breath deepen, mind clear and focused on the present, undistracted, hands into your lap or if you're standing to put your hands in a comfortable position. And we're going to do one movement from uh, the Healer Within uh, practices, or what is sometimes called the Vitality Enhancement Method. And then we're going to do one practice from Tai Chi. So turn your palms up in your lap or standing. And let's begin by rocking forward and back. And what I mean by rocking, I'm exaggerating now, but rocking forward and back means allowing myself to come a little bit forward, allowing myself to go back. I don't want to fall off my chair, so I'm not going back too far. Then let's link the breathing. Link the breathing going forward and going back. So as you go forward, you might breathe in, or as you go forward, you might breathe out. It's your choice. One of the things that we teach Tai Chi easy practice leaders is to help people to learn enough about themselves so that they can make choices. Problem with most people is they don't know enough about their diet, their exercise, their stress management, their health maximization. And so they don't do anything 
um, to be well. They just follow the crowd. Our goal is to help a new crowd, to bring a new crowd into being, which is people who are attentive and learning about themselves. Now, the next time you come forward, raise your hands. Turn palms down, and I'm going back now. Breath, I'm breathing in, now I'm breathing out. You could easily, well, I'll just do it now. I'm going to breathe out coming up. Exhaling. Inhaling. Now I'm going to breathe in when I'm coming, my raising my hands. Inhaling. Exhaling. It's your choice. What feels like it's contributing to you the most? going deeper and deeper into relaxation, to take a deeper, slower breath, LSD, a uh, longer, slower, deeper breath, I'm gonna slow things down. You may know that deep, slow, relaxed breaths have a soothing effect on the nervous system and if you struggle with insomnia, doing deep breaths at night when you can't go back to sleep, very powerful. Actually, everything that we're going to do here today is very powerful for enhancing the ability to get good rest. Last one. And then we'll do something else. But we're going to stop for a moment. Exhale or inhale, hands into your lap. Turn your attention inward, breathe comfortably. And notice what you're feeling. Now, if you do Qigong and Tai Chi on a regular basis, what you're feeling is a kind of buzzing sensation or humming or tingling. If you're not feeling that, then it's probably because you don't practice very often or because you're distracted. And I said buzzing, humming or tingling, but you may be feeling something else. So turn your attention inward with purpose and focus and notice what you're feeling. That sensation, or even if you're not feeling that sensation, you can't relax and breathe and move like this without turning on the most profound medicine which is produced within the human system for no cost. And you can even feel it. Let's go on. We're going to do a movement from Tai Chi now, which is called Hands Like Clouds. Raise both hands. Turn palms away. Bring one hand down across the front. Now both hands are on the same side. The bottom hand raises and the top hand falls. Turn your body, turning my body, and my hand is passing, bottom hand to the same side. Top hand comes down, 
bottom hand rises, watch the cloud. Watch the cloud. Bottom hand rises, top hand falls, turn your body, watch the cloud. Lift your head up, drop your shoulders. Now let's link the breath. There are a lot of ways to do it. So think to yourself, how shall I link the breath? So I won't say anything for right now. You just be thinking, how shall I link the breath? How shall I link the breath as these clouds are passing? Cloud down below, cloud up above. How are you linking the breath to the gesture? Now, not that it's the correct way to do it, it's just the way that I'm going to do it now, is that as my hands are on one side, I'm inhaling as they pass each other. As my top and bottom hand, the clouds pass, I'm exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Last one. Now cross your hands in front of your body. Open your hands. And then allow your hands to come drifting down into your lap. Turn your attention inward. Notice what you're feeling. If you turn your attention to your your, if your eyes are closed, if you turn your attention to your sight, what are you seeing? If you turn your attention to your hearing, these are all mindfulness practices. If you turn your attention to your healing, hearing, what are you hearing? If you turn your attention to your breath, like we're doing a little meditation now, when you turn your attention to your breath, how are you breathing? Maybe don't change the breath, just notice how it's going. If you turn your attention to your sensory self, your internal awareness of feeling, what are you feeling? Now, it's interesting about feeling. There are two kinds of feeling. There's emotional feelings and then there's sensory feelings. If when with um, with emotional feelings, we say, notice how you're feeling. With sensory, uh, with sensory feeling, we say, notice what you're feeling. It's just interesting. Keep that internal focus for just one more moment. Scan your body. See if you can find an an area or some areas of tension that you can release. If you're having a hard time releasing a certain kind of poor tension somewhere in the body, then use your breath. Take a big deep breath in. And then exhale very slowly and then 
scan the body and see if you can find a place that you can relax as you are exhaling. So you're probably noticing that we're doing meditation all the way through the practice. So remember, there are four dimensions of practice, movement practice, breath practice, massage practice, and uh, meditation. And we're weaving the meditation all throughout. Or we could do a specific sitting quiet for a longer period of time meditation. But we're actually putting the meditation with everything else. So we've done some body movement, two movements. We've done a meditation with the movements as we've been going. Now we're going to do just one breath practice. It's a very powerful breath practice. And it goes like this. And, and, and there's no movement that goes with this unless you want to. Feel free always to be moving. Anytime you're moving, you're actually multiplying the effect of the practice. On this particular one, however, we're going to just remain still hands somewhere comfortable and this is called the four part breath the first part is the belly so take a belly breath that means fill your belly but not your lungs just fill by dropping the diaphragm fill now fill the lungs so i filled my lower lungs i filled my upper lungs then hold your breath for a moment, just briefly, count of three or four. Exhale slowly, that's part four. So belly breath, chest breath, hold the breath. Exhale very slowly. And then we'll do it again. Belly breath, chest breath, hold your breath. Exhale very slowly through your nose. Now just breathe normally for a few moments. We're going to do this a few times. And every time on the exhalation, I want you to pay a special attention. So let's do it again. And by the way, there are many, many variations on breath. So there's two-part breath, which we're not focusing on right now. There's a three-part breath, which we're not focusing on right now. There's a four-part breath, which we are focusing on right now. And then there's a five-part breath, which, which, is, um, which requires some additional uh, conversation, uh, which, you know, we'll, ha we'll do on another day. The four-part breath is the most powerful breath practice that an average person can do without a lot of um, discipline. And it has m remarkable results. And you will be able to feel it. And you're going to feel it right now as we do this practice two or three more times. So, belly breath, chest breath. Hold your breath, drop your shoulders, lift your head. Now exhale very, very slowly. Breathe normally, turn your attention inward, notice what you're feeling. Let's do it again. Belly breath, chest breath. Hold your breath, that's the third part. Now exhale very, very slowly through your nose.
Now the five part breath would be that we would hold our breath out and you can do that if you want to. Otherwise breathe normally. And we're going to do the four part breath one more time. Check your posture, give your organs all the room they need, head on top. The easiest way to not become a stooped over older person is to never stoop over. Just always be studying how to be able to lift your head up. Okay, here we go. Four part breath, belly breath, chest breath. Hold breath, part three. Hold it a little longer if you can, or exhale slowly whenever you're ready through your nose, very, very slowly. Notice what you're feeling. Notice what you're feeling physically. Notice what you're feeling emotionally. Breathe normally. Notice what you're feeling. Scan the body and release tension. Now we're going to just do a little tiny bit of massage on our neck. I want to try to keep this from becoming too much longer. So with your uh, hand, go behind your neck and grab over to this side and then move your hand around your neck. You can also turn your head to emphasize reach to the other side. So it's my right hand reaching through to my left side, grabbing my neck, turning my head to my left side, and then turning my head and stroking across the fibers of the muscles in my neck. Now I'm going to do the other side. If you do this a couple of times a, a day for a couple of weeks, you'll get really, really good at it. First side. Second side. Oh, my, my, my. So that's part one of medical Qigong. Part one of how to make any kind of Qigong or Tai Chi into medical. So you do a round of practice, which we just did. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, use ears, hands, and feet to be able to send the healing resources or activate the healing resources both send and activate the healing resources to, the, to all the parts of the body by rubbing all of the ears and all of the hands. So start by rubbing both your ears. You're just pressing between your fingers, pressing and releasing, pressing and releasing, and going everywhere. I'm down at the lobe right now. Now I'm above the lobe. Now I'm going on the cartilage, which is associated with your spine, up the ear, to the big part, I'm working on the big part of the ear up here. And in the interest of time, we're not going to spend a lot of time doing this. Typically, if you want to get the result, you would spend more time doing this. Now, the second part of ear rubbing is to use the index fingers pressing on the head. So there's a part of your ear that's not connected to your head, that's not your head. And then there's a part of your ear that is directly on your skull, pressing, 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 pressing. And there's uh, many, many maps 
of the ears uh, for what the Chinese call um, microsystem massage, working on the small part of the body to have an effect on the whole body is called working on the microsystem to affect the macrosystem. And then with the tips of your fingers against your head, pressing all the parts of your ear that are against your head. And I know your grandma said, don't put your finger in your ear, but you really can't. I mean, okay, don't put your finger in your ear. But um, if you go near to this, if you go near to the sound hole in your in your ear, no problem. You're just getting more of those reflexes or you're using the microsystem more comprehensively. Now we're going to stop with the ears and we're going to go on to the hands, but I just remind you that we did the ears more briefly than typically you would. Hands, thumb into the palm, fingers behind, pressing, and looking for sore spots. Now I have a really sore spot here, but it's because I was using a shovel, uh, you know, a lot of shoveling yesterday. So um, it's probably, but that's exactly what that those muscles need. But mostly with with ear and hand and foot massage, we're going for the reflexes that go to the other parts of the body. So when I'm working on the lower part of my hand, I'm working on the lower part of my body. When I work on the middle of my hand, I'm working on the torso. When I work on my um, knuckles and above, I'm working on my shoulders and above, including my neck and spine and so forth. And all the way out to the tips of my fingers. And then let's go to the other side. And I'll just remind you again, we're doing this much more briefly than and if you have a health challenge, a medical challenge that you want to get a result with, then you're going to work on these points for longer than just a few moments. And notice that while you're doing this, you can still keep your body uh, erect, posture, and you can do deep breath, deep and slow and relax the breath. That's DSR breath. Um, let's go to LSD breath. <laughs> Just more fun to say. Long, slow, and deep breath. Now, if you find an area of soreness, work on that area for a little longer time. And then go someplace else and then come back. Using uh, hand massage, ear and hand and foot massage, on a daily basis, wow, what a powerful self healing tool that is. Remember, we're talking about the healer within here. So, you know, what can we do to turn on the healer within? Well, there's a lot we can do and we're doing it now. We're doing a lot of it now. Okay, maybe rub your hands together. Um, you know, go like this, go like this, go like this go like this and then we'll go on now remember you could do the feet too but we're not going to do that today so we've done part one of medical qigong or medical tai chi which is to do the practice as usual part two is to direct the qi and amplify the healing uh, capacity by rubbing the whole body in the ears the whole body in the hands and the whole body in the feet. So you're giving yourself three whole body massages for free. Just think about how much money you just saved. Now, the third part of uh, medical Qigong and Tai Chi, and medicine means the medicine within, is to use massage on the part of yourself that needs healing the most. So um, this is very spontaneous and random because 
I've been instructing you on where to rub and how to rub. Now I'm not going to instruct you on where to rub because you're the person who knows what part of your body needs healing the most. So let's use massage. There are four kinds of massage. There's pressing. This is pressing. This is pressing. There's stroking. Stroking goes fast or slow. Stroking. Hard or soft. Stroking. Stroking your organs. Stroking your torso. Stroking your heart. Then there's holding. That's kind of like Reiki or polarity therapy. You have one hand here and you have one hand here and you're lengthening your spine and you're deepening your breath and you're holding that spot and you're noticing what you feel. And then there's tapping. Tapping. Now, for me, I've been having some pain in my arm, uh, which is likely got to do with all that shoveling. So I'm pressing and releasing and pressing and releasing, and at the same time, I'm moving my arm around. Oh, I'm sorry, f forgot the, the, the fourth part, I think. I don't know, didn't we? I didn't say this. Uh, the tapping. So, so it's pressing, stroking, holding, tapping. Those are the varieties of massage and you can tap anywhere and you can if you know where there are acupuncture points you can tack on tap on the points if you know where you have trouble if you've just gotten a liver uh blood panel and your liver is showing you know weird function tapping on your liver if you have uh digestive challenges tapping on your stomach and you can start all the way up here in your esophagus you could even tap around your mouth where your tongue is because that's a whole digestive system. Let's we'll go to stomach, then we're going to go to tapping all around the large and small intestine, or you could do stroking, or you could do pressing. Pressing is to to do reversed prayer hands, press in and bend over, press in, sit up straight, press in. Sit up straight, press in, sit up straight. You know that you're having challenges with your, with your kidneys. Uh, with the kidneys, it's really good to do tapping. I'm going to reach around behind and I'm going to use this part of my hand or you could use this part or you could use this part, whichever is easier for you, to tap as high as I can on my spine. So the invitation is that you be tapping and stroking and pressing and holding to the parts of, of you that need healing the most. Uh, I'm going to just stroke on my liver and my spleen for a few moments and then I'm going to stop and hold there. Now if you have a kind of health problem that's uh, of your joints then you're going to rub your joints using pressing, tapping, stroking, holding. I'm working on my elbows now. I'm holding, I'm breathing, I'm feeling for the warmth in my hands. Think about your knees. You know, you have challenges with your knees. Well, rub your knees all the time. You know, when you're watching TV, your knees are right there. You could be rubbing and pressing and pressing and tapping on your knees. You could even get some herbal liniments to rub into your knees. I do Kung Fu and um, I use an herbal Chinese medicine herbal liniment to rub into my knees to keep them healthy. Now, if you have a keep going for just a few more moments, if you know where to be rubbing, you're probably tired of rubbing on that part. So go near that part and then you can go back to your ears, hands and feet. And if you have a health challenge that isn't in a part, then how you do part three of medical Qigong and Tai Chi is that you just do massage everywhere. 
And for everybody, it's a really good idea to do massage everywhere. So if you have tum stomach problem, work on your stomach, but then work on your uh, on your abdomen, then work on your torso, then work on the, the arms and legs have points on acupuncture channels that are associated with the um, all the different parts of the body. And so what we're doing is we want to be comprehensive. In Western medicine, we have to be very, very specific because when you use drugs and surgery, if you get it wrong, you're in trouble. But with indigenous medicine from all the ancient cultures, when you work on everything, um, you're, doing, you're doing yourself a huge favor. So don't just work on the part that needs healing the most, work on all the parts. And that's what Qigong and Tai Chi do. And that's what rubbing the ears and hands and feet do. All right, so then we're gonna finish with uh, just a very deep, couple of deep breaths. And now let's use the closing gesture, palms forward, reach out towards the ground gather from around you and as if you're bathing yourself in some kind of amazing extraordinary profound powerful healing resources bathe yourself bathe yourself One more moment of quiet. All right, I'm going to ring this gong one more time and then Christy, you can just shut me down anytime you want to. May all be well. Thank you so much, Roger. And may you be well as well. Um, we just so appreciate you being here and leading us in practice. We know, um, we know your time is, is so valuable, but man, we, uh, you've really set the, the hump day bar high here. And, and um, we're just, uh, <laughs> we're really happy to see you and, and have you lead us. And I know that um, whether folks have joined in live or whether they're joining in later, via you know a, a recording this will be a well-loved uh, video and practice so thanks again yeah. i want to remind everyone uh, that uh, we uh, have other online practice opportunities which are compiled for you at our website uh, which is healerwithinfoundation.org you can find that virtual practice group listing under the uh, practice group tab at the top of our homepage. And so do uh, consult that if you'd like to uh, practice along. There's several uh, leaders who are out there uh, doing several week, uh, weekly offerings. And so do check that. If you've missed any of our live practice sessions, you may now find them on our YouTube channel. Just simply go to YouTube, search on the Healer Within Foundation, and you'll find uh, a compilation of all of our live practice samplers there. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That helps us grow our footprint there and ultimately gets uh, these practices in the lives of, of more individuals. So please subscribe. If you're leading an online practice group and wish to be added to our VPG list, or if you'd like to volunteer to lead one of these live practice sampler sessions, uh, please email us at admin at healerwithinfoundation.org or send us a message through Facebook and we'd be happy to discuss those opportunities with you. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Special thanks again to Roger Yonka for leading us in a beautiful medical Qigong practice. So appreciate him. And uh, we hope to see you all again soon. Until then, may all be well. Thank you. <laughs>